To run a business successfully, you often need to analyze your activities by business categories. Summarizing your data into subtotals in Excel 2016 is a useful and quick way to do this. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. Let's see how the process works using this list of business returns for Logistics Company Inc. As the company's chief accountant, you must analyze the cost of each unit number in each month of the year. First, you need to make sure the list is organized in, a, in the order you want. This time, you want the list organized by months. And here's how you do that. Select the range, then go to Data, and click on Sort. Go to the Sort Information table, and select Sort by Month. Now sort on Values, and in the Order section, choose Custom List. Then select the Best Description which is the fourth one with the complete names of the months. Now click OK on the custom list box, and then click OK again, and now the table is in order. Before showing you how to do subtotals, we request that you please remember to like and comment about this video after watching. Now let's see how the subtotal process works. First, go to Data, and then select Subtotal. Now choose month as the variable and select sum as the function. Now indicate which variable you want to sum, which is cost. Now press OK and you get the sum total amounts by month. When you have groups inside of groups like you do in this example, it's easier sometimes to view them by level. As you can see to the left of your worksheet, buttons numbered 1, 2, and 3 enable you to display the information as compact or as detailed as you want. The highest level 3 will show all of your table, while level 2 will display only the subtotals, and level 1 will only show the grand total. By the way, if you need to eliminate subtotals, all you do is go to data, select one cell in your table, and then click again on subtotals then press Remove All and your subtotals are gone. Now you know how to use Excel 2016 to sort and summarize data into subgroups. Imagine how much time you would save if you used these steps while working with thousands of entries. If you liked this video, please comment and share it and hit the like button. And please remember to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.